Ron Kreider here again in the Weather Center at Victoria here in Vero Beach with our 6 a.m. hurricane update. Hurricane Dorian's forecast moves slightly south Thursday night and is likely to move slightly further south in the coming days. That was reported by the National Hurricane Center at 5 a.m. today. All of South Florida remains in the cone of uncertainty. The storm has slowed down a little, meaning although tropical storm force winds will likely be felt over the weekend, landfall may not happen until Monday or Tuesday. During the overnight hours, there was increasing consensus between the European and American forecast models put in Dorian somewhere in the vicinity of south to central Florida. The forecast warns that the models are likely to change in the coming days and Dorian is still a threat to anywhere between the Florida Keys and Georgia. The storm's latest track has it approaching the east coast of Florida Monday afternoon or possibly early Tuesday. At 105 miles per hour, Dorian is the strongest storm of the Atlantic hurricane season so far. If it makes landfall as a Category 4 storm on Monday as forecast, the sustained winds of around 130 miles per hour. It will also be the fourth year in a row of a hurricane of any strength hitting Florida, the most years in a row since 1940. As I have been saying on each of these reports, it is still too soon to tell with any kind of confidence where or when this storm will hit Florida. The current trajectory seems to have the target somewhere near central Florida's coast between Palm Beach and Melbourne, actually dead on Vero Beach. I'll keep you informed as the changes occur. Once again, that being said, we suggest you remain vigilant, stay tuned to the media, and be prepared for at least strong winds and heavy rains with possible power, TV, and internet outages. So long as power remains, and the internet holds up, I will continue to bring you audio and video updates. I will do so more frequently as the storm gets closer. Thank you for watching and listening. Be safe and stay tuned for more updates.